Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Doc Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of Sir Capridor Remastered! And today it's gonna be Jadong and it's gonna be Fantasy! Here on a ZVT for ya here on Vermeer. Top left, it's gonna be our Blue Terran player. It is Fantasy, the Vulture Terrorist himself. And in the bottom left, it is simply known as Jadong. What's up, dude? Man, a ZVT featuring two incredible players. It's an OSL champ versus very, very many Premier Championships in Jadong's resume. And let's go ahead and see who's going to come out on top here on Vermeer. This is going to be an RJB replay, but you probably already knew that. Terra the Overlord is scanning out the right way to see what's going on from Fantasy. Is he going to go mech? Hmm? With a name like Vulture Terrorist, it's pretty much a guarantee. <laughs> Alright, what's the play? What's the play gonna be here? What do you want to do on the four-player map, Jadong? Let's see, your expansion's over here. So, no super fast pool, like nothing going down. Sub-9 at this point. And a second Overlord's on the way, so this could be an overpool. Which again, very safe and very economical against a Terran player that you don't know what they're doing. If they're trying to proxy you, you'll be very happy. You went with an overpool or a nine pool opening, I can tell you that much. But the barracks just coming up inside the main base here for fantasy. This drone, yeah, I see you. I see you, drone. Moving out. And it's gonna be an 11 supply hatch at 300 minerals and one minute and 39 seconds. Yes, hatch firsting it. Here on Vermeer, again, fairly safe, and Steve the SCV moving out. Zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. SCVs are fast. Or drones, or probes. I think they all have the exact same move speed. And then, pool extractor. So it's not... Oh, did he... <laughs> did that miss? Poor Jadong. Jadong's like, I just want an extractor, stupid drone. Let's go, pop. All right. So this could be for some early speedling pressure... Maybe dealing with a little bit of early marine pressure here out of Fantasy. He does recognize this smurf name of Fantasy, as we've seen it a bunch. And this is definitely a Jadong smurf name as well. They probably they should recognize each other, I think. Expansion on the way here after the one racks from Fantasy. No gas yet. So this is going to be a very economical opening. Not very aggressive, and this needs to be scouted, man. This needs to be something that Jadong sees. Oh, he does see the expansion timing and says, okay, either we try to punish this with maybe like some fast, fast Lurker Hydra pressure. Maybe some speedlings get out there and cause all sorts of problems, or maybe I go for a third base, which I think is what this drone is doing. You don't really need this drone to scout. Nope, he's just here to harvest minerals. Righto, first hunter gas going into a lair. Why would Jadong do anything other than two base mutilisk opening, y'all? That's a question we need to ask ourselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Two base mutilisk. Why not? It is the standard for a reason in this matchup. Sometimes you can just win with it in ZVT. I've been watching a bunch of ASL 17 recently cast by Tastosis out on the YouTube channel for ASL. It is Africa Esports. And yeah, man, there have been a couple ZVTs. I'm not going to spoil any particular matches, but definitely a couple ZVTs I've seen where, yeah, just the Mutalisk opening wins. Just the Terran doesn't have quite the missile turret count, doesn't quite respond with the Marines in the correct positions to deal with the Mutalisks. The Mutalisks are just being controlled really well, and then the Terran just sort of dies. It's weird, man, but it happens. Okay, handful of marines are out here from Fantasy. Doesn't mean he can't start throwing up some factories in a minute. The ability of Terran to transition into mech is pretty well documented. Even if you open up with a couple barracks. Even if you open up with five racks, man. You go five racks as the spire starts coming in. You can transition into mech. It's tough to pull off. It is tough to effectively do it without leaving a window open where the Zerg player comes and punches you in the face. Oh yeah, it is a little bit of speedling harassment though, isn't it? I don't know about this from Jadong. Yeah, it's trades. Trades. Pretty good, I would say, but all the lings are dead. Uh, they should have fallen back, waited for reinforcements, but there are reinforcements here from Fantasy as well. This SCV body blocking a little bit. Lings trying to go after an SCV. They do get an SCV. I mean, hey, every worker death at this stage of the game is pretty fantastic. Yep, 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 yep. 
Oh, I think that Marine could have died. Mm. Oh, no. Jadong got inside your main base, Fantasy. You can't let that happen. All right. Well, the Lings are here inside getting a full scout off. Seeing the Academy researching. Seeing the Engineering Bay coming up. Sees the timing on that perfectly. And Fantasy's like, well, I got some. I got a Medic and a Fire Bat. Let's come down and force some Sunkins out of the Zerg player. Get rid of that drone count just a little bit. Four Mutalisks are on the way. And turret production... I don't know. Engineering Bay doesn't take that long to build. Range upgrade coming in from Fantasy. Trying to get in here. But there's one sunken. And yeah, one sunken against this little motley crew is going to be just fine defensively. Not even worried about it. Engineering Bay. My gosh, that can't finish soon enough here. And turret production needs to begin like pretty much now. This guy needs to start building a turret. More specifically, somebody in the natural base needs to start building a turret. Because these mutalisks are coming. And there we go. Turret getting fired up. Second turret getting fired up in the natural mineral line. Uh, turret over here. Yep, to the right of the commsat station inside the main. Mutalisks are like, oh, what's that? Your turrets aren't done? Oh, well, let me just kill the SCVs building those turrets. How's that sound? And Fantasy's like, bad. I don't like this at all. Why was your engineering base so late, man? Woo. All right, all right. Seven, eight Mutalisks. Muta's joining the party. Here comes another one. Looks like maybe somebody wants to expand down here. Yeah, there was a fire bat down this way. Turrets did get up. How many volleys to kill it? About two or three volleys there. Repairs will change that number for sure. Man, SCVs are dying. And this can really start to mount for Terran players, y'all. This can really start to get so many losses that the Terran player just kind of falls apart. But, 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 but. I think Fantasy's holding. He's got the Marines, got the Medics. The factory is on the way. But I don't think this is him going into mech. At least not right this very second. We'll keep an eye on that. Ooh, building a third turret up. Actually, there probably have been three last time these Mutalisks came in. I just did not notice. It happens. Ah. God, it just took a lot of damage there for nothing. Come on, Jadong. Mutalisk control. Let's go. He is swapping out more injured Mutalisks for less injured Mutalisks, but a bunch of these guys are not doing super hot. Third base is finally coming in bottom right from Jadong. Handful of Lings are here. Plus one flyer attack is on the way from Jadong, but range is done for the Marines. They are working on... There's a good scan in the natural base. See what's going on there. They're working on plus one infantry attack here. No sign of really anything else going on here from Jadong. Pretty happy to just keep spamming Mutalisks. Maybe make a few Zerglings. Not get supply blocked. Let this third base come up. Deal with this group, right? Man, losing another Mutalisk, though. Well, they're keeping the Marines from marching down here and really causing problems, because one sunken alone is not going to hold this many Marines. Well, <laughs> the Marines keep dying, so this number of Marines is fluctuating pretty wildly here. Control tower on the way at a starport, I have to assume. Yep, there we go. Control tower on a starport. And I don't know if we want a Valkyrie here. That plus one just finished. That's why Jadong is engaging right now. That's what we're talking about. That is exactly what we're talking about here. And it is a Valkyrie. Valkyrie prepared here from Fantasy. He's like, all right, this is a really big investment in the Mutalists with plus one attack, no less. And scanning the main base, just trying to see if there's a hive coming up. There's not, but a Queen's Nest is on the way. So I'm curious, did he see that Queen's Nest? He did scan the Queen's Nest. So he knows this isn't just going to be Mutalisks forever. He is needed to worry about Defilers. Maybe Ultralisks soon-ish. Hydralisk Den on the way here too. Valkyrie Micro getting... There we go. Couple hits. Just a couple rocket volleys. That's all you really want here. Man, Muta's just wrecking what's on the ground, but... I don't know. I don't know. I love that look, Greg, by the way. Yeah, basically the Queen's Nest says, mm, we don't have to worry about infinite mutalisks being produced here on this three gas that Jadong just tossed up. That's another skin. 
He's like, how many sunkens do you have? You have a Hydralisk den. Still the one sunken, and Jadong has been controlling this match. He's kept Fantasy from moving out onto the map at all. There are a couple Scourge here. I don't think this Valkyrie has any kills, but she's been providing a lot of damage output onto the Mutas and some Scourge too here. Lurker Aspect on the way. Hive coming in from Daedong here at 10 minutes. I'm just waiting. I don't know. It's, just, it's weird to cast a fantasy game with him just not seeming to be all that interested in making any Vultures at all. We talk about this a lot, right? You can make a Vulture when you're going SK Terran because you have a factory anyway somewhere. There it is. Very good. We're getting Siege Mode. This is an SK Terran. What am I talking about? Falcon? Nothing. I'm talking about nothing right now. Yeah, man. So it is going to be Siege Tanks. Uh, whether it is Siege Tanks added to continued marine pressure with Firebats and Medics, or if this is some kind of a precursor to lifting off all those barracks and tossing down five factories, I don't know. But the Valkyries are going to be pretty good insurance against the number of Mutalisks we have here. This is not, you know, it's not 27 Mutas, it's 10. And they sure they got plus one attack, but that's it. No further upgrades are coming in for them, and more Valkyries are being made. Macro Hatch in the main base as the Mutas fly over it. Lurker Aspect is done. The Filer Mound on the way. Alright, so Jadong pretty happy to be on three bases. Fantasy pretty well committed to being on two bases here. There we go. Lurker Sunken Combo going to deal with this pretty effectively. Siege Tanks causing problems. Yeah, hear that Siege coming up and the Lurkers are like, oh wait. Hold on, this isn't SK Terran at all. These Siege Tanks are going to pretty much hard counter us, especially... If the Defiler Mount isn't even done yet. Adrenal's on the way, and that kind of helps. Ooh, one of the Valkyries gets wiped out. Nice flank on a Scourge there. Really nice. Oh, those Scourge are not connecting. These Scourge are not connecting either. No way. Look at this. Valkyrie Micro. Okay, you lost another Valkyrie. I was just talking it up. Come on, Fantasy. You can't lose another Valkyrie to Scourge of all the things. Yeah, these Mutas are trying to help, but they just keep taking hits from these Rockets, and the Valkyrie died. All right. So this is pretty intense pressure. Uh, this Siege Tank's going to die to a Lurker, which is not ideal. And wow, never mind. These Mutas got a ton of work done. Only lost two of them, or did he make more? He might have made more. Ah. Cool. So one Sunken, plus Lurkers, plus Mutas. Plus Adrenalings. I'm not sure if they did anything, honestly. They have 0-0 zero, zero upgrades and Adrenal. As is the current meta these days. 0-0-lings zero, zero with Adrenal. This has got to be third base time. Yes, yes, okay. Third base is on the way from Fantasy. Every Terran player is like, please get a third base. You're not winning this on two bases, dude. you got to get a third. And it is. Yeah, consume, 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 consume. Dark Swarm has arrived. Al Arrive. Plague coming in next. Spider Mines being added. Vehicle weapons coming in. Hold on. Yeah, Fantasy's doing it. He's making the transition to factories. But he's not lifting his barracks. Is this pure hybrid? That would be so cool. We haven't seen like a hybrid invest in Marines and Firebats and Medics and Siege Tanks and Vultures on the channel in a while. It's usually either pure SK Terran or we transition into uh, mech fully. And don't really worry about upgrades for this infantry whatsoever, or maybe we can pull off both. It's just so darn expensive to pull off both, right? If you're continuing to have to upgrade these guys to plus two and plus three and plus one and plus two and plus three on the armor, and it's just, and you're working on vehicle upgrades too, it's just tough. It's really tough. It's just too much money. I don't think it's really even a viable stratagem. Well, good good news is for Terran fans. Oh, there we go. We're lifting the barracks off. Never mind. We're abandoning... <laughs> we're abandoning the weakness of flesh. <laughs> and we are investing into metal and steel, brothers. I really like Zero Zero Adrenalines, man. They're funny. Still 0-0, zero, zero. and they're working on 1-1, one, one, but that is a long, long way off for a Zerg upgrade, yo. So, third base lands. Is he build building a fourth base on location, utterly naked? Oh my god. 
sabotage. Jade Arm can find this and shut it down in an instant. In an instant. But look, Fantasy is sending some units over to protect it. Jadong, check this top right corner for some reason. I, I, Unless you're looking for... Holy Valkyrie count, Batman. If you're looking for a ninja from Fantasy. I don't know why you'd go up there. Might have set up like, node coming in, and it is the mech. Dude, this is crazy stuff. We had another mech game. If you like mech... We had a royal going like, nice, Plague! All over every one of these Valks. And they just accepting their. No, not really accepting their death. Those are free mutas, man. Okay, Scourge wiped out everything but two of these Valkyries. They're both extremely dead. But until you're actually dead, you can keep shooting. Six kills on that Valkyrie. This one dies. This one actually. Not escaping. Flight speed about the same. <laughs> Get him. Oh, falling back. Keeping that scourge alive. That's why Jadong is Jadong. Big engagement here. Ah, oh, but it's just Vulture. Again, Vulture terrorist in the house. Holy smokes. Scam eat meiosis. So yeah, it was Royal versus Killer on the channel just on Saturday. If you want to watch that one, it was awesome. It was an incredible game. I'm not going to tell you anything else about it, but man, check it out if you haven't. Look, I've got new content here six times a week, so if you're ever like, man, Falcon hasn't posted anything in several days, that's a lie. YouTube just won't show you my stuff sometimes if you are on just YouTube.com. If you're using uh, that, YouTube.com, which most people do, like 85% of people who use YouTube go to YouTube.com instead of going to their subscriptions page. Oh, that lurker block on that ramp was so sick. That was so sick. Yeah, man, the Vulture Terrorist getting some drone kills here, and the Vultures are dying, but hey. Uh, yeah, just know, I'm here. If you come right to youtube.com slash Falcon Paladin, it's very easy to remember. I have my own very particular URL, because I've been doing this for a long time. Then you will see all the new content here. And leave me a comment. I'll read it. every comment anyone ever leaves on the channel, so that's fun. All right, so Fantasy's going to expand top right. Later than Jadong was suspecting him to do it. And this is the part of the show where Lings run out across the map to trigger spider mines, sacrifice their bodies in exchange for getting rid of these spider mines that could do huge damage to things like, I don't know, defilers and maybe some future ultralisks here. What is the answer going to try to be here? from Jadong, but Fantasy's just kind of taking the top half of the map, y'all. I mean, this is looking pretty, 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 pretty good. Four Goliaths at a time, three tanks at a time. And Jadong is going to take a fifth base here on the left side. This <laughs> nice plague, this lurker dark swarm thing against these vultures. Bad times. And the plague helping these Lings win that battle against the Vulture count. That was pretty intense. Lings swinging up this right side trying to see, but the remainder of the Marines and Medics are here. They have plus one attack. They have no armor upgrades. These Lings do have 1-1 one, one and Adrenal, but I don't think there are enough of them regardless. So uh, they're just going to run in here single file and die. Oh, two of them decided not to run in their single file and die. That's nice. More Vultures, just Vultures, Vultures, of Vultures. I mean, who am I to question whether we would get Vultures in a fantasy game? Yeah? Come on. Ah, Skirt's wiping out yet another Valk. It is Queens. We saw that Gamete Meiosis upgrade, which means you're going to get Queens. You don't have to. You technically, definitely can just get Gamete Meiosis and never make a single Queen, but nah, not going to happen. Not going to happen in a game featuring Jadon going against a mecking, <laughs> a mecking fantasy. Yeah, these overlords are like, look at all these friggin' spider mines. This is insane. How many lings have died to these spider mines? How many lings have died to these vultures? How many vultures have died to these lings? Is another question to ask. More and more goliaths being produced. I don't know if he scanned and found our queens. Where are our queens hiding, Jadong? 
There it is, right here. In a place that's not likely to be scanned, but the number of Goliaths being produced tells me... I think Fantasy has sniffed out this queen stuff. I really do. You don't need this many Goliaths against Zerg, unless you think there are going to be Guardians or a bunch of Mutas to try to counter your mech, in which case, yeah, have the Goliaths, have the Caron boost. Or Queens. If you have Queens, you're dealing with Queens, then yeah, a ton of Goliaths are worth their weight in gold. A uh, couple of radiates. That is so many siege takes. It's really just been Goliaths and vultures we've seen, but uh, Fantasy is maxed out, and he's got a ton of 2-1 siege tanks rolling down this way. I don't think there are enough queens to take out all of those siege tanks. There are 12 queens. Look at this. There's like 20 siege tanks here. Lings, you got to kill some of these tanks, man. The queens can't do it all for you. This is a really big... Nice quake, though. All right. I was going to say, really big scary mech army, but maybe with the plague, things are a little bit easier. Man, these lings are just checking to see what's going on. There's a marine and a medic at this base. Okay, this base is in trouble. This base is dead, though. That is beyond trouble. Dude, adrenal lings. Hack, hack, hacking away. 2-2 two, two. on these lings, killing a bunch of SCVs. Vultures show up to deal with it because vultures are fast and are good responses. Ow. Yeah. And lings are a pretty good response, too. Holy smokes. All right, so Jadon getting a lot of value out of a handful of Zerglings and a Lurker up here, completely shutting this entire base down. On the other side, though, it looks like Fantasy's tank army is largely unstoppable. Ultralisks are being produced. I don't know how I feel about that. Against a Mecking Terran, do these queens have enough energy? They've got enough energy for Spawn Brute. Wait, did we see? We had to have seen Spawn Brutling come through. There's no way Jadong made 12 queens. Gave them gamete meiosis and did not give them the spawn broodling upgrade. It'd be impossible. Okay, so this base has to lift off. A lot of SCVs died. It's 48 to 59 workers in favor of Jadon. Radiates going down. It's not a ton of science vessels. Here we go. Boop, boop. Deleting two of the tanks. What? Was that a spider mine connection that killed the rest of those tanks? That was nuts. Oh, <laughs> Jadong! Jadong triggers the spider mines with broodlings after spawn broodling two of the siege tanks. Spider mines come rolling in to kill the broodlings, and bam, friendly fire deletes like eight of the tanks. That was nuts. I mean, I think a bunch of them had already been plagued, so it was it was easier for the the spider mines to do their work there. But yo, EMP getting research to try to EMP defilers and probably queens more than anything else right now. Goodness. So here's the problem for Jadong. You can't split the map in half against a mecking Terran and expect to win. And taking the sides of this map doable, but pretty, pretty close to what Fantasy's trying to do. It's got two more vultures down here. The Lings managed to handle it. A couple Ultras came down just in case. They were not necessary. Were not quite necessary. Oh, he's restarting Gamete Meiosis. Did he cancel Gamete Meiosis? I think he intended to get Spawn Broodling. Got Gamete Meiosis first. Accidentally canceled Gamete Meiosis. These Lings are killing Spider Mines before they're triggering on them, and that's kind of incredible. None of these Goliaths die because, you know what they've got? They've got three armor and 125 HP. And pretty tanky, honestly, and Goliath damage output is equivalent to Stimmed Marine in a lot of ways. Good Dark Swarm defending against this Vulture attack. That's a good way to get them to leave immediately. More Ultras on the way. Flyer Carapace coming in. And that Vulture gets sniped by this Sunken that has a couple kills to its name, I gotta say. So yeah, if Jadon can keep a little bit of pressure up and give him the time to expand to this right side, 3 o'clock, and maybe to the left side, 9 o'clock, and retake this, I don't know, 6th base or whatever it is. Whatever it is. Overlord Sight Range upgrade coming in. It's just more of the same here from Fantasy, yo. And he's got 3 attack, 2 armor. Working on that 3rd vehicle plating upgrade because of course he is. What else is he upgrading at this stage of the game? Nothing. It is mech. It is mech. And it is more mech. And it is the most mech. He 
Yeah, see? This is where Jadong says, oh, can I maybe get this base? And then the Goliaths are like, what if you didn't get this base after all? And Jadong's like, but I'd want it. But this siege tank count is so big. Look at this. Look at how many. Okay, this one ultra. <laughs> We're just running into the line of fire. He's not even getting close to the target. Spawn Brewling catching a couple of... Okay. Spawn Brewling on Goliaths. So Friendly Fire Tank Splash kills them, but catching Irradiates and Goliath shots the whole time. And one Irradiate is enough to kill a Queen. So see you later, those Queens. It's just drops. I say this every time it's a mecking Terran against a... Okay. So Jadong's getting his butt kicked right now. Just going to throw that out there. I know we're both maxed out, but Jadong is insisting... There you go. He did transport some Ultralisks to this battle. That's better, but oh my gosh, that Siege Tank setup. Spawn Broodling. Spawn Broodling. And Queens are out of there. Do you really... None of you have enough energy for Spawn Broodling? Okay. I trust you, Jadong does stop this attack in its tracks as they all had to siege up for a second, but this base is about minutes away, seconds away from dying. Also sending vultures down the right side, but there are lurkers and ultras and lings down here, so these vultures, uh, I mean, okay, like two of them make it through. I don't... Sure, they're getting all the way down here to this base that doesn't have any sunkens at it because Jadong felt like he could save this. And he did. Wait, hold on. No, but kill the link. Ah, I didn't do it. Just tossing her radiates down on every Ultralisk we see, every Defiler we see. It's really pretty simple if you're fantasy right now. It's just to radiate the big stuff. The Lings can't really handle anything else. Another spawn broodling. Queens during all of this chaos. Trying to get the spawn broodlings off. Scourge, do catch. Oh my Gosh, three of the science vessels and one hit on the other one. Ultras, Lings, getting a surround. Dark Swarm helps immensely here. Especially if these tanks aren't sieged up. A couple of them are unsieged siege tanks. Not going to be very helpful with the orange clouds around. All right, all right. So this is not going to win for Jadong here, but this is a really nice pushback up this left side against Fantasy. Forced everybody back home. Thinned out the tank count a bit. 138 supply here now from Fantasy. Jadong, pretty happy to sit on his income advantage because he does have the 3 o'clock. He likes the 9 o'clock. If he gets the 9 o'clock and plays pretty well with that economic advantage, then he can win this game. Vulture Terrorist again, getting more vultures all up in here. I <laughs> love just a handful of lings guarding this entrance to this left side 9 o'clock. You shall not pass, say the Zerglings. We are too strong for you. Blah. spider Mind says, we're stronger than you. Yeah, their spider Minds are stronger than everything. Ah, spider Mind connections on Ultras are just the worth of their weight in gold. Absolutely worth their weight in gold. Yeah, as long as you're here, hit that like button, subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 100,000 subs here in 2024. I'm making some good progress if you're enjoying this game, which you really should. Yeah, man, is anybody else as active with their vultures in this matchup than Fantasy? I don't know. A lot of Terrans are super active with their vultures in TVP. What are, these, what? are you trying to hide in the trees? She could have kept going this way. Guess there were sunkens to run into if you went too far to that direction, though. Yeah, getting an infested command center today would be so cool. Okay, couple spawn broodling on those tanks. More spawn broodling. Queens taking hits as they flee, but they do have that plus one flyer carapace. No additional upgrades are in oncoming for them. Oncoming, upcoming for them, ongoing for them. Those are the words I was looking for. Kind of mixed them together in my brain, as happens sometimes. <sighs> 190 to 200 supply. Fantasy has managed to re-up his overall supply here. Looking good. And 
these Ultralisks are just charging into this position. And one of them dies immediately. And what are we going to kill in return? Like a couple missile turrets? Nice lift on the command center. Yeah, man, I don't know. Lurker's getting irradiated. Defiler's getting irradiated. This Ultralisk has taken a ton of tank hits and got irradiated and will die for his trouble. All right. Yeah, I think Fantasy is playing really well. That one engagement where Jadon came up the left side was awesome, but the ability to recover is massive here from Fantasy because of how many bases he has. Jadong still trying to make this Ultra Ling Defiler thing work with a little bit of Lurker support and some Scourge too. Trying to keep that Science Vessel count down is going to be integral. I mean, you have full energy. Throw down a Plague or a Dark something. You can't just... Okay, there we go. So he tries to catch... He catches three SCVs and a Command Center with that Plague. That's good. Acceptable. Get out of there, Defiler. Jadong poking and prodding the defenses up this left side. Pretty sufficiently defending this right side base of his. I don't know that Fantasy really wants it. Hmm, further flyer care burst upgrades on the way here from Jadong. Interesting. Holy Queen Count is a little bit bigger than 12 now, guys. Might be closer to 20. Filer sniped after getting a pretty nice plague up. That is several science vessels and Goliaths plagued. Somehow none of the vultures caught it. Scourge fleeing as fantasy making a run. Queens do find a couple undefended siege tanks. Spawn brooling them. The science vessels in a position to do some irradiating if they were so inclined. And there we go. Also, just trying to wipe out this right side base, which does represent Jadong's only advantage in this game. Nice unseed on those tanks. Oh, so good. So good, the unseed on those tanks. This base is in a lot of trouble. I don't even think Jadong is thinning this tank count out, but that's always the problem with Queens is... Nice D-Matrix, keeping those science vessels alive. Well, three of them. One of them did go down in the process. This base is dead, and Fantasy just took the lead here. Okay. D-Matrix only goes so far as another science vessel goes down, but a lot of drones are dying, and this hatchery at the 3 o'clock is dead. A lot of overlords up here, too. I'm not sure if we can supply block Datong by wiping out these overlords. Trying, uh, trying, trying. Try Ling Ultra jumping on this tank setup. Beautiful dark swarms. Radiates will avenge these siege tanks as they die, but can't save them. This defiler is going to be dead for his part in this coup. Ah, so the 3 o'clock is avenged as Ultras come rolling in with all the upgrades known to mankind. Finally, Jadon gets supply blocked after losing like 10 overlords in the span of 30 seconds. That'll do. He needs this base back. Okay, he's throwing that down immediately. He needs this base. I really feel like if he had this base, things would be so much better for him. But it's tough. It is tough to just easily control the left side and the right side of the map like that. I guess Nidus Canals could help immensely in that situation. Aw, oh, these queens. No. One spawn broodling gets off. Two spawn broodling. Like, three spawn broodlings get off here for seven or eight queens. Everything else dies. This one makes it out alive, but not ideal. Okay, so Jadon's starting to mine out, right? Which is why having this left side base is so important for him. Yeah, the six o'clock is fine. Mind out, mind out, mind out, mind out. This is dead. Jadon's like, all right. Screw spider mines. We're just going. I don't like this position from Jadong at all. Yeah, he's going to lose a lot of stuff here. He's going to take a bunch of tanks with him, but not nearly enough. And Fantasy's up 199 to 136. Supply. The win rate of Queens on this map against Mech is about 10%. It's not zero, but it's also not good. I have seen wins where queens look extremely good against mech. I have seen wins where queens look ineffectual versus mech, and that's kind of what this has been today. 
That was a really ill-advised attack up the middle of the map there from Jadong. He didn't get hardly anything done with it. Yes, these are fully upgraded Zerglings, which is pretty good against an SK Terran, but against three, three Siege Tanks and Vultures and Goliath, look at these Vultures. They're barely even running. Yo. Yeah, and the Queens try to come in. One Spawn Brooding gets off, but the Goliath hits are insane. They're so good. Yeah, man. All right. This is just a death push from Fantasy here. I'm staring at it, trying to figure out a way that Jadon can come back from this. Dark Swarm on top of this entire army would be really good, but it's tough to close to within Dark Swarm range with your Defilers when the Siege Tank range is 27. Okay, it's not 27, but it's really far. Queens whittling down this tank count. Whittle, 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 whittle. That's the, that is the accurate verb we're using here. Not obliterating the tank count. Not even decimating the tank count. Just whittling down the tank count slowly. It's not working. It's not working at all. Is it? No. Oh, man. Drones evacing. Leaving behind their little blood splatters as they die. It's 42 drones to 61 SCVs. Here at 36 minutes. This hatch is going to die. Uh, are these overlords going to try to draw? Oh, man. Ultras just... When they're dying... Here we go. Here we go. There it is. There's the drop on top of the tanks. The Matrix will only get you so far here, Fantasy. And he does manage to break this tank emplacement. Even these tanks, I think, are in a ton of trouble. But are they, though? Reinforcing units coming in from Fantasy. He's got a ton of stuff. Jadong's got his stuff, too. It's still about a 40 supply advantage here from Fantasy, but his tank count just got hurt. Hurt. Not just whittled there. That was a hurt. Zerglings trying to drag spider mines into these units. Somehow that didn't work at all. You'd think one of those spider mines would have done some friendly fire damage there. Okay, but no. The spider mines are doing great at not doing friendly fire spider mine damage. More siege tanks up. Five are being produced at a time, mind you. On brutaling. Did he parasite? He did. He parasited that tank. That's cool. It's like, I don't have enough energy for anything but a parasite here. You're very close to having 150 energy, Queenie. Okay, still a 50 supply advantage from Fantasy. Oh, I guess there was an attempt to expand over here. Queen infested! Yes! Woo! Infested command center! And he lifts it off. <laughs> It retreats it back towards his side of the map. This missile turret cannot kill it before it gets there. Oh, infested command center. Somewhere dead infested is very happy. Jadong brings that CC down to low enough HP that it can be infested. But he just sits it over here where it's out of range of turrets and can't be, cannot be harmed anymore. Dude, land it over here. Start building some infested Terrans. You don't have a lot of money for infested Terrans. I get it. I get it. Nobody has any money for anything. Both players are like 200 minerals at 38 minutes, which is not great. But they're both spending their money like bosses. What's awesome is that Infested Command Center's regen HP because it's a Zerg building now. It's not a Terran building anymore. Spawn Broodwing. Trying as hard as it can. Yeah, I think Jadong was just happy to get that command center out of there. The vultures are still doing terrorizing things. The drone count was trying to get replaced here by Jadong up to 50-something, but not a bunch of them died. We're at 46 now to 56 SCVs. Handful of lings down this way. This is a map split in the half scenario. Fantasy has the left side. Jadong has this right side 3 o'clock. No. No, this is not how you make a comeback if you're Jadong, right? If you're Jadong, what you need is more. More bases. Not even bases. More bases than the Mechang Terran player. Not a supply block, but 156 available supply at 39 minutes is not what you want to see in a game of StarCraft, no matter who you are. No matter what race you're playing, you're hoping to be maxed out at 39 minutes on available supply, if not total supply, right? Right. 
So yeah, hit up that Patreon, patreon.com slash falconpaladin for as little as $1 US a month. There are different levels of support for different rewards there too if you want. And PayPal is a good place to donate too. If you want to do a one-time donation, you don't have to worry about a recurring subscription like, for example, Patreon. I'm just falconpaladin at gmail.com for PayPal. I did get a very nice $50 donation through PayPal from a French subscriber today. His email is like his uh, his notification of donation received. His little note was all in French. And I was like, all right, cool stuff. I put it through Google Translate. It was very nice. It was very charming. I responded with some Google Translate French myself. And it was just, it was good. PayPal is a good thing. Yeah, everything's subscription these days, right? So if you can do something that's not subscription, you're probably pretty happy about that. Anyway, uh, how many vultures does it take to kill a fully upgraded Ultra Liz? <laughs> The answer is a lot. Way more than five. Oh, you guys, you're getting, you're getting baited. You're getting uh, baited into spider mines. Oh. And that's it. GG. Bam. Jade Hong taps out and fantasy is our winner. Did I do that thing again? I certainly did that thing again. All right. We'll watch this on 16 times speed, I guess. Um, while we talk about it, yep, what a beautiful transition from SK Terran into mech by Fantasy. We just felt like doing it, right? No big deal. Got some good pressure out there early. He wasn't really able to get any damage done on Jadong with just the Marines and stuff. And he's like, you know what? That's not my game. My game is Vultures and Siege Tanks and Goliaths. And he is not wrong about that. His macro was insanely good. His ability to take the whole top of the map... Uh, to whole top half of the map was fantastic, too. My goodness. That was so good. That was so good. What a game. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, mech against Zerg in the hands of the right person can be great. We've definitely had a couple of games over the last, I don't know, few months or so where some Terrans have gone mech and the Zerg player just kind of easily handles it, just kind of bats it around for a while, plays with it, and then bleh, the mech all dies, and you're like, hmm, mech sucks. But in the hands of somebody like Fantasy, it's a whole new ball game, man. Jadong never really managed to kill any bases. I guess he killed this one and infested the command center, which was rad. I'm not going to complain about that, but this base never died. None of these bases ever die. The turrets were up to prevent drops. I know I've been talking about how good drops are. And to be fair, drops is what got rid of this tank emplacement over here. See, it's here. It's unstoppable. You can kill some of the tanks, but reinforcing ones are coming in all the time. And then, bam, he drops on top of it, wipes it out, gets rid of this entire tank emplacement. But then, guess what? More tanks are being produced because of how many bases the Terran player has. He's got exactly half of the map. And if you have half of the map and the Zerg player has half of the map... Guess what? You are going to beat them. So that's how you play. That's it. Absolutely crazy, man. Man. I mean, just so good. Just so 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 good so i mean i don't know it's upgrades it's science vessels not a ton of science vessels like we've definitely seen sk terran using up to you know 12 14 16 science vessels but you've got goliaths here right goliath range kind of does the work of the science vessel to a certain extent siege tanks too right marine range is nothing compared to the range of a siege tank they can snipe defilers from eight miles away whereas you kind of need science vessels to do that for you if you have marines and fire bats so in this situation, fewer science vessels is just fine. I don't even... What is this? This is like a ghost of an Ultralisk. It's like an Ultralisk dying... Just right in the middle of that death animation or something. Anyway. Good stuff, man. And this is a fantasy. Monster. Monster Terran. Oh, let's get that sound up. 379,000 points to 376 in favor of... Jadon actually got more points today, intriguingly. 
did outproduce the Terran, got outkilled by the Terran by a wider number than he outproduced him, which is pretty much your important statistic of the day. 13 to 11 buildings raised is kind of funny in a 40 minute game. And yeah, this right here, right here. If you get outspent in a TVZ that's 40 minutes long, you just lose. Like, I don't care what else happens. You're just dead. <laughs> You're just dead. That's all there is to it. Just statistically. Statistically, things are going to go bad for you. So, I mean, super hats off to making mech work at this stage of StarCraft. At this stage of the game. And that's going to be it for me. Well done, Fantasy. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.